they'll be calling you a radical, so they got a new one. So the big, big news, of course, is the EU Parliament saying fuck you to the Fukushima produce, the rejection. That's a fucking, such a major fucking story. Why Colin and the rest of the fucking propagandists are fucking telling their fucking lies. So let's talk about, I mean, I woke up, and I'll tell you, right off the get, I got this flash in my head, and it said STP. I mean, my intu intuition's strong, so I'll talk a little bit about that nightmare, but first and foremost, they got a new one. Scientists aren't mystified, they're not puzzled, they're not baffled, they're not stumped anymore, they're perplexed. You gotta read this, I'll post it. You gotta read, they're perplexed in Oregon. They're not mystified anymore, they're not stumped, they're not fucking puzzled. <laughs> they're... <laughs> Fucking. It's insanity. The same time that fucking Collins coming out with his pro I mean, if you believe that fucking rat's fucking lies, that's then you're saying that Fukushima was an event, stake here, and happened here. When we know it's an ongoing, continuous catastrophe they've never got to handle. It's worse today than it was yesterday. On and on and on and on for fucking 20 fucking... How I mean, what day are we on? 20 fucking 360 or something? 23 fucking... I mean, it's insanity. So, the big, 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 big fucking news. This is giant news. The European fucking Union Parliament, which is a giant body of fucking, you know, even non-EU fucking countries are get votes on this. So, Fukushima, now, here in the United States, they can't wrap it around. I mean, in Europe, I mean, fuck, people, I try telling them. I try talking to them and tell them, hey, look. They bring in all the produce from, what? No way, no way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't understand how our government just totally abuses us to the 10th power and we're so hypnotized we go along with. They don't understand that people don't even understand the dynamic of Fukushima because everybody over there does. Everybody gets it on nuclear power. Everybody, everybody understands food. They're like, R so the EU parliament voted nearly unanimously to say, fuck you. It, you globalist fucking rats is fucking Fukushima not coming in here. Not here. They protect their fucking food. They actually care. They fucking, I mean, I got to tell you something before I go on about the European. Oh, my God, that food. Oh, my God. I mean, after being here in the United States of Usury, it's the second most beautiful fucking thing in fucking Italy, in all of Europe. Of course, I don't know if any of you have been in Europe lately and seen... European females, especially Italian females, Florence females, because dress matters. Oh, my God. Whoa. Talk about enlightenment. Wow. It's, I haven't seen that beautiful of people since right here, where I grew up, in Utah and San Diego County in the 1970s. That's what it reminds me of. You know how beautiful people used to be here? I mean, you get, I mean, so that's such a big, big deal. At the same time, now, to the salmon numbers on the Pacific. I mean, so in Alaska, they've got strong sockeye numbers, which doesn't, and in fact, it's a symmetric to the health of the ocean because it's the Chinook numbers we're looking at. They're the healthy, healthy, strong fucking beasts that go to sea for a long time. They're off a fucking cliff in Alaska. Fuck, they're off a cliff ever in Washington, Oregon. Fuck it, scientists are mystified. So... Of course, the steelhead, now, the steelhead go to sea for one or two fucking years. They can make two cycles. That's why this is such a, I mean, they're fucking off a cliff yet. Everybody, so back to STP. So STP, and I don't mean stop teachers' pregnancies. Oh, yeah, fucking, that's what it's going to do to you. Suicided. So the floods, the fucking reactors, whatever. So what did they do? They did the same thing they did at Fukushima. They shut down. You do know. When Harvey hit, when Irma hit, they shut down all the fucking Radnet dishes. And then they just go, because the American populace is that fucking ignorant and that fucking stupid. Fuck, you tell people the Fukushima, well, they'll argue with you. They'll physically argue. They're proud of their ignorance. They're fucking proud, drunk on their ignorance and they're fucking so proud of it. They'll spew off bullshit that's so fucking, they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to these fucking morons. They'll fucking spew shit, so they shut down all the rat net dishes. Circle the fucking wagons. No fly fucking zone. Fucking whole thing. What went on? You think there was 200 fucking people in fucking STP because they wanted 200 people in STP? No. They had fucking major problems in that reactor, and I can guarantee that. 
I've had fucking whistleblowers. You know, it's hard to get emails in Europe fuck back and forth. Fucking my travels are things I've done. Fuck night trains, fucking night buses, fucking whoa, if you only know fucking So there's something going on there. And I gotta tell you, I swam in the Mediterranean, I swam in the Trinian Sea, I was in the Adriatic Sea for fucking weeks. I'm here to tell you, they're ten times more fucking healthy than the Pacific Ocean. More proof that it's Fukushima. If it was just the fucking global warming, they would all be the same health. No. Fuck no. The Pacific Ocean is a thousand times fucking deader than the Adriatic, than the Mediterranean, to the fucking Tyranian Sea. Thousand fucking times. You say, how do you know? Because I do the fucking work. I physically do the fucking work. <laughs> fucking Colin, these guys sit in and regurgitate. Colin will say himself that he doesn't do any work. He just regurgitate the scientific community's data. Yeah, Cam Buzo will come right back out and say there are no scientists studying. The only, I mean, so his work's fucking totally fucking worthless because real PhDs are like this. You hypothesize. It's going to fucking, they're going to lie about Fukushima. They're going to lie about Fukushima. They're going to just dump it into the fucking Pacific Ocean. It's going to give you leukemia. It's going to genocide the Pacific Ocean. The fucking luminescence fucking chain's going to break. Fucking big fish eat little fish. I told the guy yesterday, I says, here kitties, it's real fucking simple. Let me tell you about what's going on with Fukushima in the Pacific Ocean. And scientists are mystified. They're puzzled. They're fucking baffled. Fishermen are mystified. They're puzzled. They're fucking baffled. They're perplexed. Let me tell you. Real f Here, kitties. Little kitties. See dick fucking Jane. See fucking spot. Get fucking cancer and die of leukemia. Here, let's talk. Big fish eat little fish, kitties. Fukushima. F you. Where's my F you hat? I don't know. It's around here somewhere. Anyway, it's like this, kitties. So Fukushima, which we don't even know what it is, which I hypothesize as Fuktonium, Fuktonium, which you think that's all crazy. Fuck, you think that's all fucking nuts. You think I'm crazy. You think, ha, I'm not crazy. You're fucking ignorant. You're in denial. Denial is not a fucking river. It's a dying dead Pacific fucking ocean. You're next. And I want to say this about Colin and these other fucking softball fucking panty painters and these. Oh, hi. Let's check the weather now, Fred. Now, you're going to be on PBS now. What do you think? Oh, yes. It's the good news of Fukushima. I've been in the bone marrow transplant. I've been in the open heart surgery unit. I've been fighting for my life for fucking oh, six years now. Intensely fighting for my life. Given two months to live six years ago. I've watched those types. I've watched those types over and over and over. They die. When they get sick, they, well, they die out of fear. I, literally, you think I'm joking on that? Oh, no. I saw so many people coming to the bone marrow trench and the doctors tell them what they're about to go through and they seize up and physically fucking just die. They die so fucking, because they're weaklings and they're fucking cowards. You know, and they hide behind their fucking money. They're in a glass fucking house. They hide behind their propped up fucking, you know, nuclear industry fucking feeds them and reels them in. And, you know, it, they chum them in and fucking, the dumb fuckers take the bait and then they're trapped. And so, real simple kitties, big fish eat little fish. So Fukushima happens. Plumes over the United States. Mary Antoinette let them eat yolk cake and gang fucking flown out of the country fucking to South America. Fucking hammers the fucking... United States for fucking six days. Then they finally start getting the water on and they've pushed the water on the fucking cores. All these multiple fucking blown to smithereen reactors, which is probably fucking 11 of them because Diani went into meltdown too. And they just pushed it into the Pacific Ocean for fucking six and a half years. Oh no, that won't do nothing. Now you think about that. I want to think about the fucking ignorance. In Europe, nobody thinks like this. Everybody understands Fukushima. So let's talk about this. So I want you, no, honestly, I want somebody to answer me this. All you fuck Fukushima deniers, you fucking full, you know, you ignorant fucking drunk on it, proud of it. America, America, vas pucci, fuck, you need to speak American. One of you need to tell, understand. Here, help me out. Help me out with your fucking ignorance and help me out with your dogma. Help me out. I want you to fucking, okay, so full blown out fucking nuclear fucking melt. Now, it's never happened in the history of mankind. We know fucking there are fucking deathly killers. This it's a sun. They brought fucking bringing star power to Earth. It's what it is. I mean, the sun can give you fucking cancer for 93 million miles away. It's right there. So, they poured water on it for six years. TEPCO's on words. We're relying on yet to be developed technology. We don't have a handle on it. It's been reported widely over and over and over by the fucking very rats, which is General Electric. So, they dump water on it by the fucking billions of gallons. Many, many, many billions and trillions of gallons into the Pacific Ocean. They fucking 
Japanese current goes like this, the California current. So, breaking news, kids, fish swim. So we don't even know where the silver streak, still to this day, where fucking tuna come from. The fastest creatures on earth. So, they dump it in. That goes into the Pacific Ocean. Now I want you to explain to me there's no fucking consequence for that. I want you to explain there's no byproduct for that. For every action, there's a fucking reaction. I want you to explain. Please, somebody help me out. Please fucking help me out with your fucking ignorance. Your fucking pathetic fucking denial fucking arrogant fucking ignorance. Help me out. Help me out, you pathetic motherfuckers. Help me out. Help me out. Educate me. How is that fucking pie? It's not. It's not fucking pathetic. You want to take me down? You want to kill me? You want to kill my family? You want to kill my family with your drunken ignorance? And I can't fight back? Fuck you. I'm going to fight back. Oh, well, I'm going to defend myself. You know, you better learn. You better learn. You better learn. Because cancer's a motherfucker and these fuckers want you dead. The, the only answer is eugenics on this. The only answer, look up John Holdren. And a fucking Trump Trump's worse than Obama. Please allow me to introduce me. Meets with a beam. So you explain to me why Europe says fuck you. Where none of that food's allowed since the day that in Russia, none of that food's a fucking allowed. In most of Asia, none of that fucking food's allowed. It's all allowed here. Hillary says bring it on. And you're still fucking making your videos about Hillary. Hillary's not fucking president. Hillary's nothing. Donald Trump's fucking president. What about your fucking state Congress and fucking you because you're too ignorant? You don't even know who your old congressman is. You're drunk on ignorance and it's fucking swallowing his soul. The ignorance of this fucking country is killing us. Focus sheep is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. It's not Jay Cohen. It happened. Oh, it's over. It's ongoing. Fucking like this, kitties. You're perplexed, you stupid fuckers. It poured in. That heat fucking source, the greatest heat source in fucking human history by billions of fucking times. It broke. It's not your pseudo de facto theology. It's not your pseudo de facto biology. Oh, it is your biology. It's not your pseudo de facto theology. Is the ecology stupid? I've done the work. I've, and explain to me, explain to me, you dog meat dumb fuckers, why all the Ted Pod typos are dead. Why there's no fucking starfish. Explain. I've physically fucking walked them all. I physically documented them all. Multiple times, full of looking at low tide. Fucking playback and take your honor. Video proof to prove it. Why you fucker sit in your basement and spin your fucking ignorance. Drinking your fucking poison beer. Your GMO fucking food. Your obesity gluttonous fucking attitude. Arrogance. Sickening. You don't give a fuck about yourself. self internalization of the fucking strife. Tattoo up your fucking face. Pierce yourself. Blow it out. Why don't you externalize it? You better learn how is all I got to tell you. But if you internalize that fucking grief with cancer, it will kill you. It's going to kill you. And you softball fucking panty painters. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. We got scientific. When you get cancer, you die fast. What's his name? That panty painter softball you squat in Oregon fucking died this fucking month. You know how long he had cancer? Fucking three weeks. Because they're weaklings. They're fucking weaklings. You cannot be a fucking weakling. You know... So explain to me why the rest of the world fucking bans it. Why? They just because you think you, any of you have ever been to Europe, you realize what food means to those people. What food, what fucking dress, what sexuality means to those people. Do you understand? And for them to block it, just that, I mean, that's all we got to say. So it broke the illuminescence. It broke the fucking chain. So the fucking plankton went. Fucking. So the anchovies and sardines went. So the salmon fucking went. The fucking wells are fucking plankton eaters. They went early. You know, more wells have washed up on the coast in the previous last two years than the previous 300 combined. I physically watched it. I watched fucking starving death sea lions by the hundreds of thousands. How about this one? Explain this one to me. And this is all freelance fucking work. How the fuck are all these fucking starving death seals and sea lions that look like they're starved by Mobile Mars? How come? 40% of them are testing positive for fucking leukemia. We know there's only one place that fucking leukemia comes from. Fucking environmental poisoning. Period, 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 period. Explain that one to me. 
Fucking reality means nothing to you fucking people. What, because Fox News hasn't told you? CNN, I love how even the activist community still runs the fucking mainstream. And alternative media is worse than mainstream media. Alex Jones on his fucking knees fucking for Donald fucking Trump. Fuck, hey, please allow me dinner. I'd be first one in. High five, I'd be on the golf course. Fucking that fucker's a good fucking best fucking dumb bitch fucking team player ever. Fucking just like fucking Barry Elmer and Obama. It's got to come from here. Fucking activist community, come on. You know, fuck. Fight back. Fuck. Scientists are mystified. They're baffled. They're puzzled. They're fishermen are mystified about that. You, you selfish, arrogant, ignorant motherfuckers. Oh, fuck. Hey, I've got fish in my fish. Fuck you. You know, you know, like I said, you're so arrogant, you don't think you're going to get cancer. Oh, you're going to get cancer. And I'm here to fucking tell you it's going to kill you. Was that the fucking plan? Hmm. Look up John Holden. Why else would they let it go on for six years? U.S. fucking Navy has the fucking that one. How about the fucking USS Reagan? I'm the guy who does all that fucking work. All that fucking work for years. People call me, Johnny Convoy, I'm like, fuck. You couldn't get my brain if you wanted to. The work that I've accomplished since I fucking got cancer, since Fukushima happened, is staggering. It's fucking beyond me, oh my, Nobel fucking prize. It's fucking Nobel prize stacked on top of fucking, I mean, you think about the work I've done cross fucking culturally, fucking environmentally, socially, fucking economically, fucking staggering the fucking work. Fly full of fucking cancer with a bad org valve with my chest fucking split open. Sleeping on park benches and fucking, I, I think back, I mean, it blows my mind. You know, 104 bottles of beer on the wall. Take one down. Fucking pass it radioactive around. There ain't nowhere to fucking put it. You know, let's keep fucking building more Savannah River. The fucking Moxville Fairy Tale. Fucking Tower to Babylon. Fucking STP. Fucking. There's a reason there were all those fucking people in there. The Pacific Ocean's an epic. This is the greatest fucking story ever told, and I told it. This is the greatest PhD ever done in human history. Fuck you, hypothesize. It's going to give you leukemia. It's going to give you. Then you do the field work for it. Right down to your own. It's going to give you leukemia. I get leukemia. Fucking in a bone marrow. Even let you in the bone marrow trance. They don't let nobody in those fucking places. Fucking traveling all over. Walk the entire. Who could do that? I walk from Mexico to San Francisco on the beach. Fucking documenting every single tide fucking pool. You can go fucking from Point Loma. Fucking dozens of fucking videos on those infamous tide pools. Fucking Ricketts, Doc Ricketts, fucking Point Lovers, fucking Point. I go on and on and on and on and on. Fucking all of them. Sean's go, fucking all of them. Every fucking Leo, fucking all of them. Walked it all. All of it. Full of cancer with no fucking money. Thank you to the fucking people who supported this grassroots activist. That reminds me before I forget. Where the fuck did I put that? Oh, right here, right here. So, my posters. This is the one I love. This is my secret special one. I don't know who's going to get that one. Stamped in Florence. So, stay tuned. Simply, you think the Pacific Ocean's fine? Then why have all the salmon collapsed? When they were on a record escapement, record escapement, record escape. They, they even the fuck officials up there will tell you, oh, it's the pasture. It's not a fucking pasture. Let's have some fucking rodeo fucking salmon ranching, you stupid fuckers. What's the matter with you fucking people? Keep importing fucking species that don't belong in fucking other ecosystems. You dumb fuckers. You know, mystified, puzzled, stumped, fucking perplexed. Big fish eat little fish, kitties. Fukushima broke the fucking chain. It's a gas. It's a gas called Fuktonium. It killed the Pacific Ocean. It's killing the Pacific Ocean. I use the word genocide. Did they slaughter all the natives? Yeah. Did they genocide them? Are there still natives? Yeah. They cut down all the sequoias, genocide the sequoias? Yeah. Are there still a few? Yeah. That's what's going on with the Pacific Ocean. Uh, let's hope she fights back. Because you don't know how. You don't know how this fucking, I mean, our small teeny fucking groom me because, I mean, it's staggering that no one gives a fuck. Simply. Simply. The salmon collapse says everything. We don't count dead whales. We don't count dead typos. We don't fucking count dead fucking sardines. Oh, I do. I do. We don't count dead fucking humans. <laughs> we count fucking salmon. On record escapement, they go to sea for five years. They started collapse in 2016 just on cue, just like Kevin Bryant said. You can't argue with my work anymore. You cannot. I have plus, I did all the fucking work. It's in concrete, gilded in gold, cast it in concrete, fucking entombed in fucking Chernobyl for fucking time and all eternity. My work will stand 
fucking on its own for now. My work fucking is anonymous. It fucking becomes and it grows fucking legs and becomes a fucking body and fucking being of its very own. It's done now. You can, I mean, no one can ever take it from me now. The greatest PhD in fucking human history. And sadly, I was fucking right. Fucking, I was right. Salmon tell the tale. I want to ask you one fucking last thing. Why does the rest of the world ban all the food from coming from there? Huh. Because we're so fucking here, they can feed us anything. Drink that fucking beer. The beer that you're drinking isn't even fucking beer. It's fucking water with food coloring in it. With fucking ether alcohol ejected. Legal? Oh, fuck yeah. It's all legal. Fuck, they could serve up any poison they want to you. Fuck, plastic fucking rice you're eating. I mean, what we eat here, what they do to us, fucking no wonder we look the fucking way we look. Fucking disgusting. I want you to just pull up some videos. Watch a film from the 1970s, from the 1960s, from the 1950s in this country, and look how beautiful people were. Now look at them. You think, oh, all the whole world's like that. All the seas are like this. Well, no, they're not. Adriatic Sea, fucking the Mediterranean, the fucking Terrain. I know, I was just there. I was all over him. No, they're not. And let me tell you, people sure don't look like that. Whoa. And anybody who's fucking, <laughs> I want to say this to the fucking Italian fucking people, the European people, the food, bravo, <laughs> second most beautiful thing, Whew. Italian females, oh my God, stay in tune.